Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another episode of 5 Bookish Facts. Today, we're going to be taking a look at William Shakespeare. Who was this requested by? Let's find out. So, Shakespeare was requested by Sophisticated Books, so thanks Sophie for the request. There are lots of facts about Shakespeare that we could go through, and I've just tried to choose five that amused me, so let's go. So the first fact is that Shakespeare has been translated into 80 different languages, including both Klingon and Esperanto. And actually, when he was writing, he would have been amazed if he'd known that that would ever happen, because although it was during the time of kind of English expansion and that kind of thing, he only ever wrote in English and he thought that it would be confined to just the English speaking world. My God, how am I supposed to say this? <laughs> fact number two is that the longest word in Shakespeare is honorificabilitudinitatabus. I'm going to put it at the bottom of the screen so you can read it. Hey Google, what's the longest word in Shakespeare? According to Wikipedia, honorificabilitudinitatabus is the dative and ablative plural of the medieval Latin word honorificabilitudinitas, which can be translated as the state of being able to achieve honours. It is mentioned by the character Costin in Act 5, Scene 9 of William Shakespeare's Love's Labour's Lost. To read more, look for the link in your Google Home app. Well, there you go. Actually, the point of this word being used is it's part of a scene between two different characters who are trying to one-up each other with their use of language. Fact number three, Shakespeare caused an ecological disaster in New York. So basically in 1890, a guy called Eugene Schifflin imported some starlings from the UK to America, to New York. And unfortunately, the starlings kind of took over the local population a bit, thrived a lot more than expected, and actually ended up becoming a nuisance. So the reason that the starlings were actually imported was that it was Schifflin's dream to have all of the birds mentioned in Shakespeare in North America. But apparently, <laughs> he didn't think it through. So fact number four is that one of Shakespeare's relatives was executed. So it was William Arden on his mother's side, and he was arrested for plotting against Queen Elizabeth I and he was later imprisoned in the Tower of London and then executed. And fact number five is that nobody really knows how to spell Shakespeare's names, so there are over 80 different spellings on record, including uh, in his original signatures, he spells it William Shakespeare, <laughs> William Shakespeare, William Shakespeare, William Shakespeare, William Shakespeare, and William Shakespeare. There is literally no record of him ever spelling his name William Shakespeare, as we spell it today. So there we have it, there you go. Those are five bookish facts about William Shakespeare. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you've got a suggestion for a future episode. In the meantime, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye